<coughs> oh, Jesus. <coughs> wow, um, hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back, um, this is The Walking Dead, just welcome back to The Walking Dead. Let's eat this piece of chocolate for good luck on this video. How about it? That tastes really good. <clears throat> now, um, right. Uh, yeah. we're going to hey talk there, to girls. Them. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how is that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. <sighs> That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. We're back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Um, was it me or was that was Kaja's head twitching a little bit? You I don't know. You having a nice time with Katja Clementine? Yeah. Was that it? Really? Was it really? 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 <coughs> really? <laughs> it's not the most reliable pickup in the world, uh, but it gets a job. Wow. <clears throat> hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, Kenny. Uh, I can tell you're not Kenny from South Park. <laughs> I'm joking. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could... Hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. So I guess uh Hey, is there hold on, hold on a second. I would No. You go to the options. Hoptions. Not options, it's options. So there is no run button. Okay guys, we've got this. No! Okay. 
I don't know, the, um, the pause menu is a little bit, like, you can't do it. Oh, wow. So we can't go in there. Just checking for clues or anything like that. Uh, so I guess this, um, little area is just learning about people. That looks like a nice little house. What the fuck's that? That little red thing? I don't know what that is. Looks like a dog house? I'm not sure though. You know how to drive it? <gasps> sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the US Farm Bill though. I'm good. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm, I'm gonna drive the tractor! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> what the fudge? Okay, let's talk to... Hey, Lee. Oh. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Huh. So. And Sean. Okay. Thanks well, again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Um. So does this mean that? Hold on. Okay, never mind. Never mind. <clears throat> Let's talk to this dude. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, <coughs> I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. <clears throat> uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? I agree was with up that. To? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? <clears throat> wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. <laughs> Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. 
Holy shit! Go! I'll get my gun! Oh fuck. Dude, I told you that kid has if he's insane, that kid's insane. That would have crushed his foot. Holy shit. What the fuck's happening? Oh, we're gonna save him. That's a kid there. Grab. Him in the fucking face. What the hell, Kenny? What the hell? Oh god, no! Oh my god! Wow, that was intense. That was intense. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you, you didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just Dude, go. that tractor is loud. Get out! And never come back! Rock in a hard place. <laughs> That's a good achievement. Trophy. Got that Awkward. ride to make it if you want it. Still awkward. This is as far as we're going. Then it's far <laughs> enough. Look! Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. No. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> risks like this and we can't just let people die either when i say that door stays shut no matter what i fucking mean it we don't know who these people are they could be dangerous worse they could have let them right to us where the hell is your humanity they would have died out there we have kids with us i see one little girl what is it i i have to pee I go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've Come got on, kids, you can't Lily. Pee right now. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. 
Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end Bro, this, this now. heartbeat sound. Over my dead body. We'll dig one more. I don't hole. know if you guys can no, hear it. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. Kick his ass. You need to calm down. <laughs> we kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, uh... Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Lee, stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. <laughs> no, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Oh my god! No! Get up! Get up! Bro! Come on, dude. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my god, I about broke my controller. Holy crap. Man. You okay? Just great, thanks. I about killed my controller, dude. Holy crap, man. Guys? Everybody down. Stay quiet. They're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Shut up. Uh, uh. Was he the one bitten? No. Don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes. We're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. 
out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, um, that was some intense intensity or something. I, I don't know, that was crazy. That's a photo. No, Breathing I'm photo. sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. I don't remember them very well. Oh, wow. It's all melted now. Hey, Lee. Um, really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. I have a feeling we're going to be sticking around What's with the plan? him a lot. Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves over We it. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed Sean. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Yeah, I think we're doing a good thing. Trying to get on Kenny's good side with loyalty and crap like that. <clears throat> I don't like these two. How's these two are annoying. I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad... That didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. 
I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dowd hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. That sucks. <clears throat> I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back, guys. Hold on. Let me. Uh... All right. Um, I don't think we can learn much about that person. <sighs> Actually, we're going to take all these energy bars. Sweet. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Was it? We'll do our damnedest. I... Ew! Ew! What the heck? Ew! Leo, we got three energy bars. Huh. So, we're going to. What's this? ATM? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Central High Take Stop. Uh, Paper's a week old. Feels like years. You're a pretty Let's, good uh, shot. Talk to her. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. First things first. There are no batteries in this thing. Yep. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Alright, um, I'm not going to give her an energy bar because I said so. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Not right now. No. No. Uh, not right now. All right, we need let to me know if you Clementine. want to. This episode might be a little bit longer than usual. I'm not sure, though. It's not Hold up. much, but here you go. All right, Thank yeah. you. We did need to give her one. That's a good thing. I took care of her. Hey there. Hi. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Uh... Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I, I think so, uh... Being good is good, despite the circumstances. <laughs> yep. We'll sit tight. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so, uh, she's still hungry. Well, I have another candy bar. Why can't I give it to her? I guess uh, she. Well, it's an energy bar, so that. Yeah, energy bars to a little kid. I don't think that'd be good. What about Try to you? get some rest, hon. Yeah, it's not much, some. but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay, we've got one candy bar left. That's for ourselves. I don't like that girl, so we're not going to give it to her. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I thought the game froze. I say 30 or 40 minutes. One of the two. That's how long this video will be. I can't 
want to get one too if it doesn't make up. About them in here. Oh, this sucks. Whoa, look at her. She's glitching out. Jeez. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not uh, gonna go looking for them. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Can we take this further? Yeah, let's take it. Find anything? Oh, okay. Okay. Just, Just a, picture a picture of whoever was here. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer. I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> wow. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? I... Uh, no. No? I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I trust her. Now the other one... I don't trust because she, like, freaked out. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. <sighs> Whoa. I... Oh, wow, right here. Right here, mate. Oh, the can. Wow. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like <coughs> a hat. Uh, My dad he... gave it to oh. me. See, dad's just smart like that. <clears throat> if you, uh, what's it called? If you heard anybody in the background, don't worry about that. Better get this door clear. Huh? I tried to mute my mic closer. Can I help? Like, fast. I'm in. Sure. not close enough. What the heck? Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> you don't need anything, right? Nope. I get hungry a lot. Okay, good to know. And... You don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? My friend Alfred has a peanut allergy. <laughs> but you go. I think so. Okay, here we go. Peanut allergy. <laughs> That's funny. Do you have kids? Uh, no. You don't have a family? Uh...
What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Oh, I thought All you right, would a little do first. That. Well, never mind. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Oh, God. Let's just tell her. Let's just because tell her. Dead. Why is it, like, she's... Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. It's not being mean. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. All right. It's a good, uh, like, it's a good thing that she Ow! believes me. I guess. Oh, God. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. That's not a little. That look, it looks like you sliced your whole finger off. I'll find you a bandage. Jesus. No. Whoa. You're going to die. Open drawer. A drawer. <laughs> yeah, uh, your finger didn't wait. To my We're going to use this remote. Remote. Remote it up. That's what I figured. Oh wow. No no TV for us. We got bandage. Uh -oh. yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Uh They'll Me? find us. They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Ow. Okay. I hit my mic with my headphone. Here you go. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Let's get right to the point. You gotta band-aid that cut. There you go. Is that it? Is there any anything? Was that the cane? No. How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep okay. looking around. Okay. We've already asked all that. Um, let's go out here. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Really? The keys? Okay, let's go. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? <laughs> You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Oh, God. <sighs> it's complicated. It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the office. I hope she understands. She's only eight years old, though. Uh-oh. Did I say something I wasn't supposed to? I'm not giving you a candy bar. Screw that. <sighs> okay, I can give the candy bar to... Whoa, what's happening? No. Wow. You're wanting a candy bar? What about Clementine? She's good. You know what? Hey there. This is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? 
So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna oh, hold God. on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Uh, we need to get that medicine open, I guess. Here, let's... You know what? Give you a candy Here, bar. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Sweet. Okay, we got her How thinking we we're uh, good. good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. We've quickly got to do this. There's like a puzzle out here or something. We've got to get inside that pharmacy still. Jesus. I want to try to do that before the end of this episode. So, um, that's why it's only going to be a little longer than the last one. If you can hear me. <laughs> um, I still have just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? Jeez, I think it might be more than a job. couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep How do they not see him? him? It's a hardware store. TVs. A brick. Can we grab that? Can't reach that brick. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Huh. So... Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. So that's yeah, not his I brother agree. or Just anything? Need to figure out how to get out there and get them. Wow. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. How about that? There's TVs over there and we've got a remote. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AB. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Jeez, he has no jaw or his tongue. I got a few of them to take notice. Off. Shouldn't we, like, uh, grab that brick? I can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. 
And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. It's a combination lock. Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I can't reach that brick. How do we get the brick? We should think about searching that guy across the street. Okay. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Can you... We need the bridge. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Why can't you grab yeah, that bridge? Didn't work. I can't reach that brick. I've got to knock that lock off of there. I imagine going out the back door and around is out of the question. If we're gonna help Larry, we need to get this lock Come off. Come on. Grab the brick. Can't reach that brick. Oh my God! Why don't this dude grab it? How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to <coughs> with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. What about you? I knew some folks here. Seemed like as good a place as any. Oh. Friends? Family? They around? Family. But it doesn't seem like it. So it seems like nothing out here is going to help us get the uh, thing. Let's go back inside. Exit. Go back Let's inside. Let's back inside. Okay. So guys, I'm going to have to end the episode here. I'm going to uh, find out what to do off the um, off of this while um, I'm not recording. So, so the next time it will go smooth and fast and crap like that. So I will see you in the next video.